Okay, folks, today we are going to look at the sequence of weather that occurs as a depression passes overhead. As we remember, a depression is an area of low pressure. It is one of two weather systems that affect the UK. Unfortunately, it is our most common weather system that brings with it a lot of unsettled weather. Now, thinking back, as we know, a depression is created when an area of warm air meets an area of cold air. It's made up of two air masses. The polar maritime air mass being the cold, the warm tropical maritime air mass being the warm. When one pushes into the other, we have our warm front, which is the front of the tropical maritime air mass, and we have our cold front, which is the front of the cold polar maritime air mass. So this is what a depression would look like on a weather map. Now, down below, I have shown what a cross section of a depression would look like. So if just to remind us again, we have our warm front. So, and this is our warm front down below. We imagine this was ground level. So warm front, and as we know, the warm air is rising over the cold polar maritime air. We have our cold front, which is the front of the cold polar maritime air mass. And we can see that down here. So in the middle, we have warm air, warm air. We have cold air, cold air, cold air, and the same down here. So we're now going to think, well, what happens when an air mass or sorry, a tropical depression passes overhead? It's the same sequence of weather every time. So here's our little Jimmy. Meet Jimmy. It's Halloween. He is going to a fancy dress party. So Jimmy, and he's standing here and he's waiting at the bus stop and he has a bit of a hot date going on here. So he's quite excited at the prospects of this party. So our depression is going to move overhead as Jimmy stays waiting for his bus, which isn't coming anytime soon because they're never that reliable anyway. OK, so at the minute, you know, the depression starts to move. And well, he's feeling rather cold. Now, the reason Jimmy is feeling rather cold is because overhead we have the cold body of air, which makes up the polar maritime air mass. OK, now you can see some cloud coming in the distance. And this is because the warm tropical maritime air mass starts to rise over the cold polar maritime air mass. And what happens when air rises? It cools, condensation takes place and we have clouds. So we might see some cirrus clouds in the distance. OK, so he's still waiting there for the bus very patiently. And this, you know, depression still passing overhead. Now, at this stage, the air pressure is starting to fall. Now, the reason why the air pressure is starting to fall is because this warm air mass is rising. And as we know, air pressure is the weight of the air on the surface of the earth. So because it's rising, the air, then we're going to have a fall in air pressure. So we continue to move until, lo and behold, the warm front is directly above Jimmy. Now, what's happening at the warm front? There's several things. First thing is this warm tropical maritime air is passing up and over the cold polar maritime air mass. So therefore, the air pressure has fallen. It is a lot lower now. Because this air has been rising and is cooled, condensed, it has formed clouds. In this case, we now have what we call nimbostratus clouds, which are rain bearing. So it has started to rain. Now, if you remember back to our clouds, anything with the name nimbus in it, means that it brings rain. So it has started to rain. OK, the wind direction now is coming from the south southeast because winds always blow into the centre of an area of low pressure where the air pressure is at the lowest. OK, so moving on, Jimmy's still patient, but he's not getting so patient now because, well, you know, his costume might keep him dry for a certain amount of time, but that's not a good look when you arrive into that fancy dress party. So. Depression still moving on until now we are in the warm sector of our depression. Now things have changed here. It's warm and the reason why it's warm, temperatures have risen a little bit, because we are in this tropical maritime air mass. So it's a wee bit warmer. Now there might be some low stratus cloud, but you know the chances are 
he might get a bit of drizzle, but that is the end of the story. He'll not get seriously wet here. And the reason why is that warm air can hold more moisture in it than cold air without condensation taking place. So therefore, he's had a little bit of a reprieve, so to speak. OK, and our cloud types, yes, are stratus. Now, our wind direction this time is either coming from the south or the southwest. OK, Jimmy's still gritting his teeth, still waiting for that bus. Depression still passing overhead until what's happening. Now the cold front is directly overhead. Now, what's happening here? Well, the air pressure is actually rising. And the reason why the air pressure is rising because the cold air is sinking. And because the cold air is sinking, it's pressing down on the Earth's surface, making the air pressure rise. Okay. The other thing is that because it's sinking, it's actually undercutting you know, the back end of this warm air mass. So it's forcing it to rise. Now, as we know, similarly with the warm front, as air rises, cools, condensation takes place and we have clouds. OK, and because this tends to happen a wee bit faster at the cold front, well, then we have what we call these big towering nimbo cumul or cumulonimbus clouds, sorry to get that right, cumulonimbus clouds, which bring a short period of heavy torrential rain. OK, so he's really not happy. He's really, really, really feeling quite peeved. So. Depression still moving onwards, OK, because, you know, we're moved away from the cold front. You know, there's no air rising. So we tend to have some maybe some light cumulus clouds here. You know, nothing with any rain. The air now, however, has got colder. And the reason it has colder, because we are in this cold part of the depression that makes up the polar maritime air mass. Our winds are really coming from the west or the northwest. Uh, direction but you know it's not good it's not good poor Jimmy is not going to make a good impression at this date okay so in fact he could change from being Batman to crazy Hulk he's not making any noise at the minute okay so basically what happens we have a sequence of weather as a depression passes overhead you know, if you think about it, cold air comes first, so you're going to be cold. Come to the warm front, the warm air is going to rise over the cold air, so we're going to have cooling, condensation, clouds and rain. The pressure is going to fall because the air is rising. Warm front passes overhead, so it's going to be warmer air because it's part of the tropical maritime air mass. You might have a bit of drizzle, some stratus cloud, but because it's warmer, it means that this can hold more moisture in it without condensation taking place. So there's less clouds and there's less chance of rain. Come to the cold front. Cold air is undercutting the warm air, forcing it to rise. So we have these large cumulonimbus rain clouds occurring. And in this case, the air pressure is rising because the cold air is sinking, putting pressure on the earth. And then afterwards, it comes into the cold sector. The air gets colder. There's fewer clouds because the fronts have disappeared and um, eventually the bus turns up. OK, folks, so it's very important that we know the sequence of weather that occurs when a depression passes overhead.